Yeah. Good morning, Anu sir. Good morning, ma'am. All good. All good. Yeah. Happy yeah. to see you here. Thanks for accepting the invitation. Thank you, same here, ma'am. Thanks for extending the invitation, actually. Uh, dear participants, uh, Dr. Anu Saxena is with us. So I take your permission to brief your profile to the participants so that they are acquainted with you and we could start the session. So uh, Mr. Yes. Anuj is founder and CEO at Institute de Informatica Dehradun. He has around 28 years of industrial experience and has demonstrated history of working in the research industry a motivational speaker, soft skill expert, and also a writer. He has trained over 1100 professionals, multitude of research papers published or guided, and many, many theses. He has guided nine patents and the, co and the count is already on. He is skilled in cognitive analytics, deep learning, machine learning, data analytics, NLP, IoT, and what not in computer science. He is a research paper reviewer also, at many journals and conferences. He has three SAP certifications and is a certified ethical hacker also. He has organized various international and national seminars as one we are already having today. So welcome, sir. Over to you, please. Thank you. Uh, I had sent a link actually for new 4 community edition. Have you got that? Uh, there was some is issue like I got an email that uh, somebody wanted to get an access to that. So I have actually sent a uh, ma'am. I've sent a link to you, which is open now. Yeah, I have sent uh, that link email to the participants already. Okay, so till we till I start, we can install a uh, start with a basic uh, actually introduction of uh, graph databases. We can uh, they can install at the back end, right? So it won't take much long, uh, much long. But for uh, the Apple, there was one uh, uh, thing. One participant has an Apple, and for that we need another uh, actually addition. But the community addition is for Mac OS, right? So they can install that. But Mac only has one issue that it is always a paid thing, you know. That you have to see. Okay. Otherwise, new 4 j is a free edition. Okay. So Mac, I have not installed on Mac on this system, but yes, I have one student who is working in Singapore, and she has new 4 j on her system. Uh, she is working on that on the edition. Right. So it should not be an issue. You will find a, if you want, I can find a link for you, but I think it will be very easy. But we need a community edition of new 4 j there are many editions of new project, and uh, but we need a community edition. Okay. If anybody has any issue, uh, you can raise your hand or just uh, uh, tell me so that I can uh, start up with my presentation. Actually, I don't believe in much in presentation, but uh, just now you can present. Okay. I I made you the presenter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me open that. So, graph databases. Uh, anybody knows what uh, know what uh, graph database is? Anybody is there? I can't hear anyone. Telling anything. There's a chart I can. Can see the chat. Uh, yes, the last day. Okay, thank you. Dr. There's something else. Okay. Yes, participants. Participants, if you have not uh, muted, then you can tell me if you know about graph database. Yeah. Uh, you know please, please look into the chat. Please look into the chat. Yeah, I'm looking in the chat. Yeah, I'm doing that. That is what I was looking at. So some people say for storing RDF triples, some say key value pair and rest no, don't know it. Basically, there is uh, not much of an idea. Okay, let it be. 
let's start it. Okay, doesn't matter. You know it or don't know it, doesn't matter, right? Because now after the presentation, you will be knowing it perfectly. That is for sure, right? And it's not a rocket science. Uh, it is just a graph uh, we have. So I'm just presenting this. Okay. So we'll be having a hands-on uh, thing. Let these things go. Let me put myself somewhere so that I can see the presentation. Okay. So graph database is uh, can say that uh, it's a connection between a uh, subject and arm, like RDF. Must have heard of about RDF, and uh, I think there was a lecture before me uh, this one about RDF only. So RDF uh, is graph database only. I'll come to that, but one should not confuse between graph theory and graph database. It is an unstructured uh, database. You can see something like this on my right hand side. You can see Brazil. This is a movie uh, preview uh, output which I have created. And this is uh, using the Netflix data set. Okay. From Netflix data set, this has been created. And you can see there is a relationship. So here you have a case node. We can say uh, planet node. And then you have the, the nodes, and uh, they are connected with a relationship. Okay, the subject and object they have to be connected with a relationship. Here we, we have used pair. Can have any right? can be any relationship uh, which you like. Okay. Or it may be like normally uh, related to friends. These are the relationships we have. Okay, fine. So let me. On. So what we are going to cover, we are going to have a brief introduction of graph database, then RDF uh, table store, difference between SQL and uh, NoSQL, and the demo of a graph database. Just show you how it is. This is the first part. The second is completely hands-on, right? Okay. So you'll be uh, able to design your own graph database. That is very. So what is the graph database? As I said, it is nodes connected. Okay. So, so. so here the data is treated as a relationship between the two things. A relationship has to be set. Like suppose, I'll give you an example. Suppose I like a brand. Let's say eating. I'll talk about uh, pizzas. Let's say I like Domino's. Okay. And my friend likes Pizza Hut. There are two things, right? Both serving pizza, but I like Domino's and I like, and the other one likes Pizza Hut. Now, I, have, I am friend with X. Okay. X is my friend and X likes Pizza Hut. Now, my relation with X is friend friends and my relation with dominoes is like and that of x is like right so it is like this you can see here yeah. this also this is a little uh, small one complicated type but this is how the relationship goes right but again it is not graph theory keep it in mind you have to Keep this in mind that this is not your graph theory. Okay. Fine. Uh, Anu, sir, no. we are missing your yeah. voice on the way. Yeah, my voice is breaking. Yeah, it is breaking on the way. Many times it is good, many times it is breaking. Let me check. Okay. Uh, yeah, it otherwise, otherwise, it is okay. I think it is uh, uh, moving uh, something like that. Okay. Okay. I hope it is okay now. Yeah, you can yeah, tell me. In, uh, yeah, yeah. It should be okay now. So, graph database, as I said, that it is a simple, simple relation between two nodes. I call them nodes. Okay. You can edges. You can say edges, nodes, right? A relationship. 
like I told you, I, I gave you an example of Domino's, Pizza Hut, and my friend and uh, myself. So these four things are related with each other, right? So if I like Domino's, I like Domino's, X likes Pizza Hut, and I am friend with X. So this is friend relationship, okay? So you can create a relationship like this and you can create your debtors, database. A database need not have uh, all the entities. Uh, you can have uh, whatever uh, you want to store in it. So one node is not just a, a roundabout, okay? It will be having the data in it, okay? I'll show you how it is stored, but uh, let me first get back to you on this. So this is from the raw data set. This is not a structured data set. This is unstructured data set and this is a raw data set I get. I get a, a raw data set like uh, I get uh, some CSV file, even uh, unstructured or a text file. And from there I can create or I even I can create from SQL. Okay, RDBMS, Oracle or anything. I can create from anywhere I want. It depends on the usage okay now since the relationship is there you can easily uh, understand how one entity is related with the other entity okay now okay so So 90s, in 90s, we had uh, RDF, like XML, RDF, they all uh, came up. And SQL, uh, no SQL rather, came up in 1998. And in 2000, we had uh, New4j coming up, okay? And uh, they also created a language, a Cypher language, a Cypher query language, you can say. And this Cypher is very important. You can uh, directly use Cypher uh, also on a New4j. A platform a server rather you can say and uh, you can uh, get whatever you want you can even create your database data set or you can even query or remove or whatever you want to do you can play around using a cipher also but cipher uh, won't give you any flexibility as such right so like if you want to have conditions and all then it will be a great problem for you so i prefer to use uh, a language Content for that. So it may be Python, it may be Java. I had been using uh, Java earlier, but now I'm using Python as there are more uh, features with Python, but uh, Java has a good connectivity. If you want to use Java, you can use Java also. So that is absolutely no issue. You can use Java or Python or any other language to connect with your graph database. You can create it and you can have it. So, like this, uh, 12. Sparkle, you have Sparkle and RDF. Same way you have Cypher and New Forge, right? So, as you know, it is a RDF is a triple store or graph uh, database. It stores as a network interface to get the new information. Okay, whatever is existing in the relationship, it extracts from there. Okay, it is dynamic, adaptable to the links. Right, semantic search is there, and and text analysis. Everything you can have, you can create a knowledge graph also using the RDF. And as I said earlier, also RDF is graph database. You can say graph database or RDF. You can use uh, both because both have the same thing. Like your graph database is also subject and object relation. Okay, the subject and object is the related with the uh, the relationship it can be any relationship as i said earlier also like uh, you have a relationship uh, where it can be friends related to likes or anything where like uh, where i used where also one case okay okay uh, a small difference we can have a difference between uh, sql and no sql 
I'm using two systems actually. Okay. Now SQL, as we know, it is a tabular form, and uh, uh, over the years, it has grown from uh, a la layer three layers to you can say uh, grid uh, grid uh, structure and uh, so on. But it is in tabular form tables, right? But uh, your uh, NoSQL is actually a key value graph or uh, it has no structure as such. The structure, yeah, we will be only discussing the technical issues. Yeah. So graph, uh, the documents, key values, graph, uh, uh, keys are there, values are there, and the graph relationship is there. Okay, it's a wide column. So it stores in a wide column. Okay, they're wide, not the vertical things. Okay. You want a relationship in a SQL, you need a join statement. Outer inner joins, you have to create the joins, and then you can have a, a relationship and you can make some meaningful understanding of the data. You can understand the data. A meaningful uh, understanding of the data is possible only if you use joins. Okay, so you have to use the commands to get the out uh, the relationship. But here the relationship is already created when we create the nodes. When we create the data, okay, so the relationship is already there. So you don't have to worry about the relationship. It uh, is with the creation only. Okay, now traversing. Traversing in a SQL is a slow. If I have a 1 GB data, which is very big for SQL, it will uh, take me a lot of time to get to the results I want. But it is not the case with uh, NoSQL. It, uh, since it is a relationship based, it is very easy to traverse the database. So traversing is faster, and in SQL, traversing is slower. Traversing means traveling from one node to the other or one data to the other. Okay, so looping you can say. Okay, so traversing is little tough. And as I said earlier, also uh, SQL uses uh, SQL uh, language, structured query language it uses. But uh, here it is a cipher language query language which is used by NoSQL. But that is actually not a difference. But uh, there is a difference in that syntax and the output, right? How you use it. And uh, the documentation of new project. No audio. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. There was one message that uh, there was no yeah. audio. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Anuranjan, please please check your speakers. Yeah, please please continue, sir. Audible, audible, audible. Okay. Now, okay. So. Uh, as I said, uh, there, uh, we can't say it is a difference for the sake of the difference. We can say that it is it uses SQL and it uses a cipher language, but it all depends. Actually, I've been using a relational database. I base I've used I've used Ingress also. I've used uh, Oracle also. I've used uh, DB2 also. So all of them have the same SQL structured query language. Same way, all the NoSQLs have a cipher query language, which is almost the same, right? So, but definitely syntax is different and a little complicated if you call, uh, take a uh, no SQL. The cipher query is little complicated, but uh, not a big deal. Once you know how it is used, then uh, you can easily use it. So it's not a big deal, right? So we'll be seeing it also, how it is uh, used and how the cipher will work. Okay. Now, Coming to the main part, that is uh, our hands-on. So here, what we require. First thing is prerequisites. What I require here, I think, uh, I'll tell you, a community edition is required. For that, I have already sent the link. If it is not there, then uh, ma'am can uh, share it or, uh, you can tell me I can share it also. I have uh, given the access now to the link. So it is on the drive, Google Drive. And exe file you can directly download 
why i have given it because it was not very easy to find a, a working model of new forger although it is free and there are many additions but if you use cipher then it is perfectly fine but when you are using it python that it gives a little problem and that is why not you not many people are able to access it also and use it also okay so community addition new forge then we have uh, we require python okay for python i am you i will be using jupyter notes so you can use uh, anaconda if you have anaconda you can download anaconda or you can you directly have a uh, jupyter note okay and jupyter note uh, because i can share the notebook with ma'am and she can uh, share it with you the uh, codes are there so you can try it also later on i will share it okay for now uh, notebook is there so it is easier to, uh, for us to understand how it is working and uh, before we start we have to some folders and then we have to that i'll tell you how we configure new forj and i'll just show you how new forj would look like and uh, okay i have uh, new forj here i have to share it first i'll have to show everything otherwise you won't be able to understand let me share I'll stop the presentation i'll share now how i am you going to use it okay you can see that the new 4j is there so what i do is uh, i type it new 4j community edition on my search bar windows mein theek hai and then this uh, box is going to be there now in this box there is a database location if you already have then uh, you can uh, run it new project and this is uh, an older version that's okay perfectly fine because this is the working uh, version not all the versions work i can tell you that okay but this is working and uh, the code is also working with this we'll have uh, i'll uh, tell you how it goes now if you have this then you have to choose the folder for this you need to create a graph db folder i'll show you okay let me see let me see it is there yes how it is created first you have to create a graph db folder and in that you have to create a default.gdb okay two things you have to do you have to create a graph db folder anywhere you can create you want it doesn't matter right kahi bhi create kar lo that is your choice graph db folder and then you have a default.gdb graph database these two folders you have to create one in the other graph db should be the root folder and default.gdb should be a folder within the root folder is it clear so you can create these two folders and once you have created this you can always open okay i'll just show you uh, you have to choose and then you have to start okay i'll just click on start it takes little time to start new project it will be ready it is showing that it will be ready yeah now it is ready and you can go to the browser it won't work just like that you have to go to the browser and to go to the browser either you paste this link or click on the link right either paste or click that is your choice i'm place i'm clicking on this it will open the browser let me see if it is sharing this or not it is not sharing so i'll have to yeah okay so it is not so i'll stop sharing 
then I'll share it again. Okay, there you are. Now this is what will open. Right? This is what opens. And since already I have already created a grab. Yeah. It is asking for a password. Yes. Uh, if it is for the first time, it is for the first time, then new 4J and new 4J. Username is new 4J and password is new 4J. Right? Yeah. Okay. You can, uh, then it will ask you to change the password. It will ask you to change the password also. You can change, you can set your own new password. Yeah, done. done for me. Yeah. You can have your new password now. Okay. And this will open since I already have created this. Done. Okay. Good. I have already created, so I just wanted to show you how the graph would look. Okay. So you won't get anything if you click on the database, it will be all blank on the left hand side. Right? You can click and see it will be blank because there is no graph database. Once you create, then you will be able to see it. Right? But I just wanted to show you how it works. So that's why I'm uh, showing you. And then I'll be creating a page and then you will be uh, able to do it. Okay. Right? Okay. Now let me see. Notes. Show you. See. These are the notes which are already created. And if I want to see the category. But you can see that they are all uh, hanging around in the air. See, all hanging in the air. No relationship. Only this is here is connected. So there is no relationship, right? So relationship is here. Down there, you can see. Now. This is the complete relationship which I have actually put it uh, in the presentation also. I have used it. can see I can access from here also the colors I can change if I want to change the colors I can simply change the color I can click on this I can do that yeah so if I want to see this one Mexico the relationship you can see Mexico has opened it takes time because the there's a huge data set I've used it's a huge data set so Show you now again. Next, this is a relationship acted in. This this makes more sense. Okay, so you have the actors who have acted in the movies, right? Who is acted in what? You can see these are all uh, more or less uh, foreign actors, but. I'll show you. Uh, anu sir, uh, yeah. could you pass on an already created uh, database so that we could explore into it and then we can create a new one? No, no, uh, that will not be possible actually because uh, the graph database has to be created. I'll give you the code. Don't worry, just two minutes. Huh? I'll just show you and I'll, I'll show you the code. You can create it on your own. No, no, no. And then uh, actually, you do you mean to say that I create a database on my PC? And then yeah. it cannot yeah. it cannot travel to another PC. It it, it it may not be yeah. That is what I want to tell you that it uh, say it, it uh, the graph the entire uh, path has to be shared. Uh, let me try. Okay, I can give yeah. you a zip file. I can give you a zip file. I'll zip it. Okay, and uh, okay. you have to then unzip it. Do. And, uh, fine, fine, fine. And then can, we can do it later have, on. And for the time being, we yeah. can create a new. Okay, okay, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you this also. So I'll give you the code for this. Now you can run the code and it will create on its own. Not a big deal. Okay. I'll give the code for this, and once you run the code, it will create. It will be created. But you can definitely uh, have it if you want uh, to take the data set. You can create it also. I can give you a zip file, then uh, the graph and the graph DB or DB. That file is there. Then uh, uh, you just have to browse to that. And you can get it. So that is not uh, a big thing. And uh, till I 
present it to you. Let me actually create a zip file so that uh, you can create on your phone also. Let me see the okay. I'm creating a zip file, just give me two minutes. No, it is not creating that this is also yeah, and otherwise we could do it later on and we could continue yeah. with creating a new one as you wish yes we will have to do it only because it is actually giving errors in creating there are no links found so we will have to continue with this i'll give you the code so you can run it and i'll uh, tell you from where i have taken the data set that is a netflix data set and uh, that uh, data set has to be uploaded. I'll show you where I have uploaded that and then we can run it. But we'll be creating a smaller version first. I'm just showing you how a graph database works. Okay. This is what we have. But it won't make much sense to you. See? This is how the graph looks. Just the looks only. Right? But now where the data is, I'll show you the data. The product property keys. Okay, this is the category. Country. Let me see if I can. Okay. This is the graph. This is the table. And get see how much is stored there. This is the text which has been put in the graph. But for that, we need uh, just have to code, nothing else. See, this is the data. Release here. The data is there. The entities are there. Entity is node only, and the duration, whatever is. The data ID is there. Get the IDs for everything. So we have to create an ID. You, either you can give your own S1, S2, S3, like this, what we have given, or you can give whatever you like. The IDs will be there for each node. Each node has an ID. You can see now listed in see, the data. So data is there. Now, okay. Now let me show you. How we are going to create. Okay. Because this is just an introduction of what it is. Not able to rename. Rename words. Sir, sir, this is this is not for you, I think. This is for me. They okay. are mixing the queries. Okay, 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 okay. No issues, no issues. If you could pass on okay. Graph database, we can do what we can do. So now file is not creating. So I'll sh share it. I'll, uh, let's share the code. Okay. So I'll have to close it. And uh, we have to stop the server, but don't close it. Okay. To come out of it, you can stop it and it uh, it will shut down, but don't close it. So I am saying it because once you close it, graph uh, V4J has an issue that you'll have, you may have to restart your system. Okay. So there may be an issue with it. So you don't re uh, just stop it, don't close it, don't cross it. Once you stop it, then you can again choose the other folder and then you can create. Right. Let me create another folder for you. Okay. Now in your drive, whichever drive you have, you can create create a folder graph. You can have a uh, you don't use a C drive. I normally don't use C drive because it uses it requires some permissions. So what you have to do is you have to create a graph DB folder. And in that graph, you have to create a graph DB folder first, 
and in that you have to create a default dot gdd okay i'll show you i have this uh, folder yeah this one graph db and default dot gdd okay it's okay i ordered this uh we cannot see your screen one sec huh? one sec one sec i shared it i got uh, some of it is not showing yeah it, it is stuck on the way somewhere yes i am sure it's checking them the phone is on update or something one minute so you can create a graph uh, db folder na c drive and then graph db dot uh, default dot gdb In we are inside the browser we are inside the browser what to do now you don't have to go in the browser you go to windows window you go to windows okay window explorer uh, the... no C drive or D drive or G drive, whatever drive you have, except the C drive. I normally don't create in C drive. Okay. Do we go to the same folder that was already created? Yes. If you have the folder, okay. then it is perfectly fine. Just now it was already created. Now automatically, when we did new 4G installation. Yes. Yes. Just okay. So we go to that. Ah, uh, you go and check whether it is there or not. Yeah, it is there. We can see it in the drive. Okay. Then you have to run the presentation. Give me one minute. Issue there. And got stuck somewhere. It has just got stuck somewhere. I have to show the code. It is not coming out. The bex has uh, stuck. Uh, if you are not able to share. uh will you like to rejoin
Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. That has stuck somewhere. Am I audible? Yes, please, you are audible. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm just restarting my system so that I can have it. So if you have the folders with you, then you can create the graph database easily. Okay. But for that, maybe okay. it has asked for some update. My system has asked for some updates. But that is not an issue. I'll share uh, the notebook. I'll have to restart my system. I should. Okay, coming back. Name four J failed. Uh, life cycle man. Uh, was successfully initialized but failed to start because see the attached pause etc address is already in use cannot bind to it new 4g has stopped then 687 is already there it is uh nidhi is it uh, when you uh, start new 4g or is it when you use the browser when you start the browser i create a graph by clicking jump into port <laughs> okay created a graph using jump into port okay then it is not working can you uh, share a screenshot with me Uh, share a uh, just share a screenshot. I'll see see what happened. But it uh, normally doesn't happen like that. Not able to see. Yeah, it. I'm not uh, using. I'm just using another system right now. I'm just switching it. Uh, using uh, restarting the other one. It uh, was. It went into update something. I had stopped the updates, but still it went to update Microsoft. You know. That's why I was using two systems already. I knew this happens. Anyway, now I have shown you some uh, graph, but uh, as I can see, or rather, you can feel it also that what is the use of such a graph, right? How it is used, right? Uh, Nidhi was sending me some screenshot. Where will you send me the screenshot? Can uh, share it here, or you can just put it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, I, I'll be sharing. Just uh, wait, wait for two minutes. I'll be sharing the the thing again. Graph by checking or clicking on jump into code. Jump into code. You can create uh, the graph. No issues, Nidhi. But uh, let me see what the error was. If you can see the error, I will be able to tell you. Not able to share. Uh, you cannot uh, share it here because the sharing is not uh, on. Yes, only host can share, but you can uh, give me a screenshot. Na? One minute. I'll give you my WhatsApp number if it is uh, not an issue. This is my WhatsApp number. You can send me the screenshot. Okay. Mama is already giving you a permission so you can share your screenshot with me. Okay. 
ओके जस्ट क्लिक ऑन ओके ओके कर क्लिक ऑन ओके एफ ड्राइव यू हैव ग्राफ नो यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ ग्राफ डीबी फोल्डर ओके यस यू हैव अ ग्राफ यार ये क्या You have a graph DB and the graph default there is there. Start. Click on start. Start. Yeah. And wait. Okay. It is saying that no 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 no. M six eight six is already in use. Yeah. Have you? Uh, are you on a network? Why you need ontology? One minute, ah. Huh? Just click on OK. You go to the server database lifecycle already installed clearly. It is showing me this. Just click on op options. Options. You have options here. Click on options. Okay. Let me see. It is C drive editor configuration is there. Okay, new code configuration is there, and then Java. Java we don't require right now. Plugins, open plugins. Let's see if there's something there. The third option, open. Yeah, let's open it. Yeah, instance is there. Yeah, definitely. We'll have to see the network if it is there. Okay, just close it and close this uh, also. New project. Close it. Cross it. I can close it. Cross it. Close it. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, just see, check the your browser. If there is something done. Yes, you can restart, but you will have to restart your entire system. Just run. Uh, uh, Type here on the search new project. Type new project on search. Just type new project. Let me see if it is there. Community edition. Neo new project. Yeah. Right click on this and start as an uh, run as an administrator. Don't open it. You have to run as an administrator. Then it gives you more permissions. Next, uh, yeah, second option. Run as administrator. Is it starting? I doubt. Uh, so you can give uh, the password. Password can be given uh, uh, new 4J and new 4J. The user is new 4J and password is new 4J. Submit. Username is new 4J, password is new 4J. NEO 4J. And then it will ask you to change the password. You can change the password. Yeah, Niti, that is what I was telling that if we close it, then we have to restart. Yeah, you can restart your system. <laughs> we'll have to reset. That is the problem with new project. Once it uh, stops, then you have to restart. You can restart and then re rejoin. 
what else we can do that like what it happened with me also that is why i was using a yeah yeah it will continue but the uh, my system is also like restarting on which i have new project so i have i don't have it on this system so i was using two systems so that i can at least continue let me uh okay maybe you can restart and then uh you can restart your system and then it will uh, work for sure but whenever you're using new project always uh, start as an administrator because it requires some permissions and suppose you are using the seed on a c drive then it definitely requires some permissions right so i normally start when i start a, an application i use uh, as an administrator only so i restart it and then i'll do it my system is restarting it anyway now i was coming to new for j when uh, what is it looks like uh, the graph only and uh, meaningless unless we do something so how it we are going to use it i can tell you the first uh, graph database i used was in 2014 when i started uh, learning graph databases that was 14 years after new project was made uh, but uh, that was still in the initial stages because it was in the development stages started developing that and in new project we created few graphs and uh, it was like uh, we uh, used data of theft there was a theft which was uh, carried out by one person and uh, it was in different different locations so we put the data in that and we put uh, put it uh, on a graph database and when we plotted we could uh, actually see the pattern how the thief was working and what could have could be the next target of the thief so it could uh, actually predict and uh, the next target as we, we must have seen in a lot of movies that they do it but we did it on a real time database and it worked so in prediction also we are using it and uh, top agencies like fbi and all they are also using new 4j or a graph database They're not necessarily uh, they will be using new 4j they can use any graph database right and even uh, for prediction like uh, the person can be an addict or can be a thief or can be a professor or something whatever we want to know we can put it in a graph database and uh, we can do that that analysis since it may, it has a relationship it is easy to understand and to see how it works right so it works perfectly fine and it is able to predict also which is not possible with a sql for sql you will have to write some codes but here the relationship itself tells me how it is going to work right so you can use it like this uh, are you guys able to use your graph database open it or link it to it my second other system is open. yes good yan that's nice anybody using uh, mac os it works on mac also so it should not be an issue you can use linux also if you're using linux okay anuranjan is saying no uh, <clears throat> okay so my system second system is almost ready now which is having new 4j but uh, sure it will take 2 minutes but anyway if you have any queries you can ask me ubuntu database db in ubuntu ubuntu also you can use linux is same thing ubuntu also you just have to install it There is a Linux version of uh, uh, Neo4j. You can use it, and then uh, you can uh, Python is inbuilt, so uh, you don't have to worry about Jupyter or something. You can directly run the codes. Ubuntu, Linux, they, uh, the Python is there, right? And uh, you can create the folders. A folder can be created, or default folder is already created. When you run it. a default folder is always created so you can use the default folder so what we can do is if we have a 
folder, like uh, I can create a folder that is not an issue. I can show you graph db and the uh, default dot db. Was updating actually. It was updating all the systems. Also were updated at the same time. Interesting. Show you. Okay. So what I can do is, I can I have only a C drive here on the system. I have to create a new folder. Graph from DB and this I have to create default dot DB. Okay. Now, if you have this already, just open it and see if it is empty or not. If it is not empty, then you have to clear everything what is there in it. Just check it if it is empty or not. It should be empty by default, it should be empty. If you are creating it, then it is empty. Otherwise, if it is created by default, then it may be having some structures in that. The second, let me know if it is empty or not. If it is not empty, then you clear it. This is what it should look like. It should be empty. And then you can start your new project. The back is showing me. Let's stop it. Okay. Uh, the V, the default one carries data. Yeah, the default, yeah, the default has uh, some data. You can clear it also. Or you can let it be uh, like that. You can leave it like that. It won't be doing anything. Empty hai. Okay. Ubuntu, you can have. The default will be having the data, but you can always clear it. Okay, let me. You can start with that. Uh, and uh, have you started your browser, uh, uh, Jupyter? Jump into code. No, you don't have to jump into code. You just have to leave the new project as it is. We'll be going to Jupyter and then we'll be writing the code there. Okay. We just have to write the code. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to do anything. You once it is open, when it is open in the browser, you get the browser. 
and new 4j opens in the browser then you don't have to do anything you just have to leave it as it is and uh, uh, switch on your uh, jupiter you have jupiter you have jupiter then you can just simply switch to it switch it on jupiter is not there okay then you can install jupiter it will take just two minutes and okay good 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 that you have opened uh, jupiter also google collab won't work why we you can use uh, google collab also but it won't work in case of uh, new 4j because new because it is on cloud right jupiter you can use anaconda or you i think i've shared the link one minute huh? let me share jupiter i think i have shared the link but anyway i'm just sending the link again share me jupiter you can use you can use uh, anaconda also okay let me share We can use Anaconda or you can use the link which I am sending. Here is the link. Can have the link. Yeah. If was open, that is good. I have sent the link for Jupiter. Jupiter is same actually. What we install with the Anaconda is same. Uh, otherwise, also you can use Jupiter directly also. Or if you don't have a Jupiter, you can use any Python ID. But I was actually insisting on this because I will be sharing a few things with you. The notebook I can share with you, so it will be easier for everyone to understand that. You can directly uh, use it. Python ID. Yes, you can use Python ID. You can use uh, Spider also. You can use uh, Spider also, and you can create. What I can, uh, what you can do is the code I'll be sharing with you. You can put the code there, and it will work. Give me one minute. I'll be showing you the code. A second system is now on. I'll be connecting from there also. The meeting. Joining just I can share the code. Jupiter exe file in the link. Really, let me see. It is there now. Nah? 
You can install Jupyter Lab. Okay. Let me give you the link for uh, this one minute. Is not taking it directly. You can try it on the browser, no? One minute. Let me see if it is working. Jupyter Lab. Let me give you the link for this thing. Anaconda. This will work. Anaconda installs actually everything. It installs your R also, it installs your Jupyter also, it installs your other things also. So windows you need enterprise edition windows 10 64 okay let me give you this you can have. Okay. This uh, Anaconda will install everything. Anaconda will install your Jupyter also. And Spider R will install everything. This is exe. You can download for Windows and it is a 64 bit. You can check if it is uh, uh, you want uh, 32. And you can see here that it is for Windows, Apple, and Ubuntu also. You can see the link. One minute, I can share it. Yeah. You can download for Windows, Apple, and Ubuntu also. Okay, so you can share it. Easy to download. Ah, oh, yeah. The application is big, yeah, definitely. It is a big one. But then we don't have much choice. I'll show you the code. Yes, Anaconda is big because it has R also, it has VC also, it has C also, it has everything. Anaconda is big, no doubt. So Jupyter, if the loan is not working, then you don't have an option. And you cannot work in Google Google Colab. I tried working on it, but it won't work because it requires new 4J. 
and uh, the server won't uh, start with collab so i tried working with it but it didn't work i can now uh, i'll be sharing it sharing the code now now i can join from the other one
I will show how it is to be installed. But for now, I won't be using Python here. I don't want to be unmuted there. Okay. Jupyter and Neo4j. Okay, good, 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 good. Dr. Karan, this is nice that you have been able to open both the things. I'm just waiting for my Jupyter to open. Once it is open, I can uh, show you the codes. It is in the notebook, so we'll have to wait for two minutes. Those who have not installed uh, can open it. Jupyter and Nipoji, you can install, you can use pip install new oj you can run it a pi to neo you can install we won't be using this one for now but uh, pi to neo you can install and you can run the command you can create a new instance and you can do it There is one more thing which will be required to be installed. Okay. There were some kernels working. So, okay, let me share it now. Without wasting much time, now I can share. And what is this? This already is there. Okay. This is how your anaconda would look like. So you can create a new instance. I already have this, uh, so I won't be uh, using it. Yes, Dr. Karan, you have to install this also, and you that is for the second code I'll be giving you. Uh, for this one, I'll give you another one. You have to no, uh, no, no, not on the CMD. I'll show you. Not CMD. CMD you cannot install uh, Pi to Neo just like that. Dr. Karan, you will have to show you. I'll show you. Uh, once you have the Jupyter open like this, you can see now Pi to new like this. Can you see? I would be need, needing this also. RSC client, I'll be using this one actually for now. Two things, and then you just have to run it from there. I already have it, so it will tell me that it is already there installed. It will take just a few minutes to install. You can install both the things because they will be required in the future. RSC client also, REST client, sorry and uh, the Pi to Neo. Both the things you can store. 
for now i'll be using a, a rest client in this example and let me now use uh, Second month. You get the screen. Quick screen. Hello has done. Let me share it. One minute. This one. The second is this one. Python U is this and RSE client, REST client. Okay, good. Install the REST client also because we'll be using it in this example. Yeah, yeah. I'm sharing. I'm just switching on uh, one minute. Huh? I'll share the screen. I'll just show you one one thing. How I'll uh, start my new for uh, new four J. I'll be going to the folder which is there in my G drive. I have to go to graph. This one, and then I have to select this open. And then I have to start. I'll just switch it on the new 4G also, then I'll come to the Jupyter part. Once it is ready, then I can work. I'll have to share the entire screen, I believe. One minute, I'll let it be. So we'll start. And uh, let me share now Jupyter with you. Yes. So this is where I have put the things. I have put a hash. So because I have commented it, you can put remove this. This and you can just simply run it from here. Okay. Good. Good, Apurva, all good, and Dr. Karan, good that it has been installed. The two things are installed now. All I have to do is I'll be sharing the code, okay? This I won't be using in this uh, thing. I'll give it to uh, give the code so that you can uh, use it. J is taking time, but they, those who have installed, they can always do that. One minute. Okay. I have put the code there. You can use this code and run using run command from here. Yeah, I'll be sharing the that notebook. I'll be sharing. I'm sharing the code one by one, line by line. I'll share the no notebook. We'll be using this, and here this is very important part. Uh, I'll show you. No, it is not required in this case. 
uh, time is not required here, but the timer is important when we have to see how much time the graph has taken because uh, the, in the next example, I have uh, used a huge data set. So in that case, uh, it will be required. But for this case, it won't. And uh, I have put the password. One minute. Huh? This is a password. Just put your password here. PWD. The rest is simple. Instead of PWD, just put your password and uh, see if it is connecting or not. But if a new 4J is open, then it will connect. When it asks for a new password, and if you change the password, then you can put that password or you can use new 4J also. Okay. My new 4J is open now. It won't be having anything. You can see. I'll be now running the code. And see if it is connecting. If it is able to connect, it won't give anything else. Any error as such. Okay, good. Now, see, when you're creating a connection, there are a lot of syntax like Bolt syntax or some other syntax which are available, but they don't work. This is what works. Okay. I It took me around three months to figure out the syntax which was not available anywhere. That time, I am talking about 2014. It took me three months to find out how it is going to work because it was not. So I found this syntax okay, and this works. But the bold syntax, which is there in most of the cases, will find on the net it doesn't work for me. Maybe for them it may be working because of the version or whatever it is, but it doesn't work for me. Okay. Now, well, if it is created, if it is connected, now you can. I'll give you another code now, and uh, okay. I'm giving you one by one code so that you can understand also. I'm pasting the code again, and I'll explain the code also. First, you have to create a label. DB is the handler. DB is equal to graph database and you have given the connect connection. So DB is the handler. You can say handle is there. And then you use db.labels.create user. And a user can be anything. It, it is your choice. I'm, I have given user. You can create anything. Right? It can be root also. Anything. Then you have uh, U1. On the left hand side, as you know, it is always available. So it can be anything db.notes.create you have to create a node once you have created a label that is the uh, header now you need the nodes there so you have, I have created two nodes anuj and varsha that is my name and varsha is my student and then you can add it to a user using user.add this command user.add u1 user.add u2 you can have user.add u1 comma u2 also Okay, you can have it something like this user dot add u1 comma u2. Okay. But this is optional since we have already added, so you don't have to. Now the nodes are created. Now the, I need some affiliations. You can have a university affiliation, college, whatever you want to have. Then I have to create two more nodes. Again, db.nodes create. I have created IDI and uh, IIT. Two nodes I have created and I have added it using app. Not add e1 comma b2. Right. Now, once I run it, 
again. So I can run it now and see what happens. I can run all the code at the same time also, but I want to be using it. It star. Okay. So something has happened now. That means it has created something. And let's see what has been created in New4j. You switch to New4j, click on database. See, it will come. It is showing color idea. It has come. You can refresh also. If you think that it is not coming, you can refresh it. You can see the affiliate. The boxes are there. The circles are there. Right? No relationship, no connections. Relationship is empty. Affiliation, you can see. And the user, you can see. You can change the color. That is not a big deal. Okay? If you have been able to get this, then uh, just have to create the relationship now. Let me know if you have been able to get this screen. Okay, good, good. Apurva, good. is showing yes good it takes little time sometimes uh, to show the nodes all now we have to do is uh, set the relationship now uh, yeah I, i'm showing you that one minute here it is you have created and now we'll be creating the link. Dr. Karan, are you able to get that? The notes, I'll uh, share this one. Now the link you have to create. A relationship has to be set of U1 with B1, U1 with B2, and U2 with B1, or it can be anything, okay? You can try it later on. For now, it is like this. Now, U1.relationship.create friends. Who likes the friends, eh? U1 with U2. If you run this code now, just run this. You have to click and run, okay? If you're not clicking on this, then it will run the entire thing. So it is telling me that new 4J relationship is set. There are three relations which have been set here. You can see it is giving me that. All I have to do is just go there and see if it is there. Uh, it will come. Or I can refresh. Yes, it has come. There was no need to refresh. It was already there. Yes. Just click on the star and see. The relation has been set. Very simple. B1, ah, you can change B1, B2, anything you can change. What you want to do is we can change B1 and B2, but in uh, before they showing previous and change one both. Showing, achha. You, if you have run twice, then it can create a problem. Neharika, you can use anyone. You can use B1, B2, or whatever. But uh, if it is from the beginning, then it's okay. Let me show you. This one. Whatever you are using here, it has to be used for the relationship. Working. Okay. Apurva, good. So you have been able to set up your first graph database. You have been able to create a graph database. That's great. We have not put any data in it. That's okay. We have just created the node. We can create the entities also. I'll show you with a bigger example how it was created. Way to use such graph. <laughs> yes, 
it has it looks like uh, it is of no use <laughs> such graph is of no use for now i'll show you i show you exactly uh, what is useful this is just actually how we create how we create it right but this uh, when we are having a csv file or from sql if you are using your relational database if you are using then uh, you can make a meaningful graph like what we uh, have shown you earlier in the example. You can create that, and that is important, uh, interesting. And you can use it for prediction also. Like what we have done is for the movie data set, it predicts the movie, right? But for now, how we are using it? First, we have to see the basics, right? This type of graph is not useful, definitely, but we have to put some data in it. Then it will be more useful. You can add more uh, nodes if you want and set the relationship as you want, but then uh, you should know the relationship which has to be set. You can't just uh, put the relations, uh, relations just like that because the relationship is important. If you think that only node will be there, no, it is not that. It will be the entities and I'll show you the data. And the uh, the code for that. It will be a bigger one. Okay, where I you can apply such a graph. Okay. I think I told you, but uh, anyway, let me tell you again. One application which we used was to predict whether a person can be addicted or not. He can be a uh, serial killer or not. Right? But for this, we created the data, we collected the data, and then we uh, plotted the data. We could predict whether the person will be addicted in the future or not or can be a criminal or not and even uh, in case of uh, predicting the next step i think i gave you the first example that we collected the, the data of a person uh, conducting thefts all over the world and when we plotted that and we put it then we can put predict where, where next this person can actually uh, conduct uh, theft you can use uh, as it is uh, the data uh, the complete graph anywhere i show you the movie data set and you can uh, actually make more sense out of it because this data you can see that only nodes are there with a name but no it is not like that nodes with the data is created with the data the entity has to be there okay so key values we have to give the key values this one is just a simple creation of the graph. Now this one is created. Now we can use the query. This query can be generated and the, I'm using a cipher language here. This is Piper. Match user R likes M affiliate where U name Anoch returns U type R M. It matches and tells me that is coming in this for the project client, client report, route database. You have to give the password, na? Deepak, you have to give your own password. Interesting, right? But uh, okay, you can zoom back. Any issues? Can you see it? Good, Deepak. You just have to put your password PWD key again. 
Just replace PWD, PWD with your password. Dr. Karan, you have just to do that. Is it working? I've shared the code already in the chat. Okay, good. Now you can run the codes. Great, great. Apurva, you're doing great. It took me some time to run this query. It was giving me some errors. So I had to modify the uh, query. The cipher uh, query, I have to modify this because what is given uh, in the manual was not working. Yes. That's great. This is what the output should be. This is my output also. Now you can, if you want to insert, you can use these commands again. You have to create a user, then you have to create a, a sub node, and then you have to create the relationships. If you create that, relationship is set and it has been added now. Is added, you can see that. I'll just go back to Jupyter. I think you can run this port. You can change the names if you want. That's not an issue. You can create more nodes. I can try and know more nodes. You can add more nodes. As you can see that uh, the code I uh, executed gave me another window. Uh, let me expand that. Yeah. Arish, I created with an ITK. I can zoom it if you want. See if I can do it. Are you guys able to run the code? This is uh, what we can do is we can insert the uh, nodes, we can query the nodes, and we can delete also, we can delete the entire thing. Or we can delete entire uh, relationship also. To delete, uh, one node i'll have to delete the relationship and then i have to re remove the nodes or we can simply remove everything how we run the query that is cipher query is like this if i run this don't run it huh? this will delete all the nodes the last command i have put this will delete the entire nodes all the nodes every data the data will go so db.query and put the query 
and get response. Uh, you can see that I put three uh, triple quotes there because there are two lines, multiple lines are there. This is the text I'm giving as a query. db.query queue, get response. Get response, it will execute the query, the cipher query, and delete everything what you have created. And it will uh, just empty everything. So I'm not uh, deleting it for now. We have already created, so I don't want to delete it. Let it be. If you have been able to do it, then let me know because I'm running out of time also. So I can show you the real working of the graph database. Please let me know so that I can uh, switch to the real working. This is just an example of how we create the nodes. This is very basic. You can create any uh, to any depth. Okay, you can create more nodes and subgraphs. New four J. New four J is a graph database only. Note that we have created here. No? Note dot create. Nodes dot create. We have used db dot nodes dot create. Why you want to go there? Here also you can create if you want to. You have to give us hyper query here. Yeah. Yes, I'll give you one minute. Fortunately, I have uh, saved that link. I'll give you the document link. Yeah. The cipher queries you can give directly. Okay. Let me give you the link. Yeah. This is the link for the documents of New4j. This has all the entire uh, cipher query. The cipher language is already there. You can have a look and uh, you can see, yeah, this is what. It is also using the same uh, data set I have, I'll be using. This is the Cypher manual. You can have a look at the manual and you can have the syntax. You can create your own also. You can use it uh, directly or you can use Python. And in Python, if you are using it, then what you have to do is you have to put it in the quotes and then you have to run the query. DB dot, uh, this is what you have to run, DB dot query. Put the query, which is either directly in quotes or in a variable or whatever the variable is and get response and the thing, this thing will work. Steps in new forge. Steps in new forge is what? This is what you have to create. You have to create the role nodes, you have to create the relationship. That's all. I'll show you a bigger one. That will clear. One minute. Huh? Save the graph. You can save the graph here itself. You have an option to save the graph. See? Download. Export. Can you see this, Karan? Dr. Karan? Yeah. See? You can use it uh, as a PNG or CSV file, or you can save, simply have the image also. This will save it. Simple export is there. Okay. Now let me show you the movie one. I have used Netflix title.csv for this. If you have not used Jupyter, then let me tell you that I'll have to install the file and I have to upload it using the Jupyter. This thing is great. Okay. Upload. And select the file. I, I don't have it here, but wherever it is, I just have to select and open it. Okay open and then upload so this will upload uh, the file i've kept it somewhere and this is how you upload ah, i'll share it it's a big file i'll share the link netflix.cs csv file 
i share the link for that because it is a big file so if i can get this file yes see it's a big one i'll share the link i'll i'll share the link let me show the code first okay so the data you can see you can see this is the data as i told you there are a lot of things which we uh, we do which doesn't work these don't work bolt and all only i've used py to new here and with that i've used graph and node and relationship and then we have uh, the link again the same way as we did earlier okay then we create this node timer i have used i've used some fun functions now this is what i wanted to show you it is not about just creating the headers or the uh, the nodes only with the names this is what the data this is how the data data goes okay m movie is a handler okay id title we have id in, uh, uh, there in the data set then we have director country this is uh, square bracket uh, so curly bracket it will get the data from the uh, database from the csv file which we'll be using and this is what we will be using as the code to replace you can see that it is just not creating nodes it is creating actually i'll be sharing it i'll be sharing this uh, also i share the notebook this is how it will be created and it is showing you the time how much time it uh, used that is what i uh, why i use time there in the previous example there was no use of time but here i have used time also so that i know how much time it has taken and i can compare it with the others we have to create a person create the categories create the type then uh, director countries unused property links year whatever the data set is there cardinality that is a relationship you have to create the relationship query and all and you can see the plot that how much what is taking much the things are there then another uh, I'll be sharing this. Ah, yeah. And it just went up. Now this is the request which has been generated. Movie total number of movies like Anubham Kher, Shah Rukh Khan. The movies name of the movies and total movies done okay after wise and this is the query this is a cipher query which has been executed and i have put it in the data frame and using the headers also so you can use the headers also and you can create this is more meaningful data you can see you can plot the graphs also Now another query I have put. You can see where he has acted. The relationship is there. Similar movie similarities. The similarity index is there. Okay. Now prediction. This is having the prediction also. You can see. It is creating a little problem for me. Okay, this is prediction movie. Predict prediction. Uh, movie and title recommended movies 
and algo is uh, link prediction and um, as you can see and the uh, prediction uh, algorithm has been used here and order by descending mode and you can print the graph also you can get the data and you can give see recommended movies and the score stranger things instead of that you can uh, the recommended is velvet bus shop yes god yes instead of this you can watch this also it is not compulsory to write in cipher but yes uh, if you write in python uh, you are using cipher query only okay yeah. you are using cipher only in python also right so i have shared the link i have shared the link for your uh, documentation so you can have a look at the cipher queries okay i'll be sharing this uh, with dr sarika and uh, this uh, notebook and uh, she can always share it with you so uh, dr karan you had an uh, a query where to use such a graph you can see that it can be used how it is can be used yes i will be sharing yes i will be sharing i cannot share it here uh, right now but i will be sharing Yes, you can drop your queries anytime. I'll be there, or I have given my WhatsApp number also. If you have any issues, you can drop it up there also. It is not uh, it uh, Newport J or any graph database creates a lot of problems when they execute uh, when we execute. But since I have been using it for almost eight years now, I know where the things go wrong, so I can handle it. Right. And even uh, when you go on the net and if you try to work, it doesn't work. Yes, you can drop your queries anywhere. You can drop it here. You can drop it anywhere. Yes, ma'am. It was wonderful. Thank you, ma'am. We had a group. Yeah. Group so let us see how participants uh, liked it and. Uh, <laughs> I will I will even share a, a document with them so that they can drop their queries later on also. And yes. uh, uh, Doctor yes. Mr. Anuj is always there to answer your queries. Yes. So you definitely. could always connect later also. Yes, definitely. Uh, so thank you, Mr. Share, Anuj. I'll be sharing the notebooks with you, ma'am. Right? Yeah, yeah. That that will be required at least so that they could start with another problems also. Yes, definitely. Yeah. It will be more meaningful actually, otherwise it is just like creating the <laughs> boxes. Yeah, definitely. So they, they could reuse that in another applications. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So I, I will pass it on the material to the participants. Yes, definitely. I'll share it with you and you can definitely pass it. Yeah, even in the next session, we will be doing queries for the query languages for the graph databases. Okay, good, so, good. Okay. Dr. Medha will be covering that session and we wait for it now. So thank you, Mr. Anuj. Thanks for this wonderful session. And we so will much. like to listen more and more from you in later Definitely. FDPs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, sir. Right. So uh, we will uh, pause the sessions for now for lunch. Let us have a lunch break and join back sharp at 2.45. Dr. Medha will be there on time so we'll start the sessions sharp at 245 and the same session will continue we will work with different query languages for graph databases so thank you so much bye bye for now bye